guys, this is Josh with SoutheastPitReport.com, and I'm hanging out with the guys in Failure Anthem, JD and Ryan. Uh, JD, tell us a little bit about Failure Anthem and who you guys are. Uh, we're basically a band based out of uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, we have been together for over a year now. Uh, we've been writing and putting together some pretty good material for everyone. Uh, we're pretty much just a band that's uh, coming out. We're hoping everybody digs what we're doing. Uh, some good old rock and roll. Yeah, that's all we can really say. So you said you guys have been out for about a year now. You recently just signed with Razor and Tie Records. Yeah, that's true. Um, you guys, to be completely honest with you, I've known you for a while, but you guys just like came out of nowhere. Um, I think it was a sleeping line. Yeah, it, it really was. Um, because I've always seen, you know, the music and things that, you, that you're doing, and then all of a sudden you guys are opening s shows with Hailstorm, and now he is Legend, and you guys just played with Red and other local boys, Islander, uh, a couple of nights ago up in your hometown. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, yeah, you guys just kind of came out of nowhere. Tell us a little bit about how you guys got hooked up with Razor and Ty and uh, things like that. Well, we basically, uh, me and Kyle O'Dell, which is a uh, pretty well-known musician, has played in bands such as uh, Blood Gen, um, as well as uh, Banisher, uh, done a lot of tours in his time. Uh, basically, we had the idea of getting together. It was originally Kyle's kind of vision to put a band together, a rock band, uh, in his eyes, a true rock band, and um, write some songs um, and you know get some great material, and we've always wanted to do it, and he basically rediscovered me on the internet, uh, singing on a video, doing some old blues material, and I at the time was kind of still, you know, doing some music, but not really anything that was set in stone. So I came to Greensboro and started recording some tracks, and, and, and we kind of kept it a secret for a long time, and here we are. You know, so. Here we are today. And Ryan came about, and he's yeah. been in the scene for years, so. You know. So all you guys are from Greensboro, North Carolina? Uh, uh, yes, we are. Originally and everything? Uh, so yes, uh, you guys got the new record coming out. What? What can you tell us? I know you're kind of limited um, on the record, but what can, what can you uh, what can you tell us about it? Like, do you guys have any? Uh, I'll let Ryan speak a little now. He knows a little. He's got some good information with for that. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess we kind of have to play a little tight lip. But first single is supposed to drop, I think, second week of May. Um, I think we're shooting a video for that soon. Uh, just did some press photos and stuff. Aaron Marsh just. You know, killed those. Um, the record's slated to come out August, I think. Um, but leading up to that, you know, we're just going to be doing like regional spot days. Like we're doing some stuff for Carolina Rebellion. Um, and then shortly after that, I think we're just going to start being on the road full time. Just do it. All right, where'd you guys track the record at? Uh, at Think Sound is what it was called uh, with Drew Folk and with Kyle O'Dell, uh, both produced and. Uh, engineered it. Yeah, that's uh, not. That's just right up the road from you guys. Yeah, right? it's oh yeah, right practice. down there. It's pretty <laughs> much <laughs> hometown. Home, home, yeah. Hometown, home, uh, hometown recording. We try to studio. keep it in the family. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Uh, do you guys have like a tentative uh, release date of when that may be uh, coming out that you can release? Or? The the record? Yeah. Uh, it looks like August. August. Yep. Cool. All right. So we got the record coming out. Um, soon to be coming out. You got some light regional days. Um, you got anything set in stone for the fall? Nothing yet. I Nothing. Mean, you know, we're just kind of getting the ball rolling. We got uh, our our agent is just, you know, he's putting his, his nose into the grindstone and just he's hammering out awesome shows for us all the time. So yeah, it's cool. Like you know, like you mentioned, we're, we came out of nowhere, a new band. You know, did stuff with Hailstorm, Red. We're doing dates with Puddle of Mud next month. So it's yeah. Like, so if you're around in North Carolina, feel free to come out. You know, yeah, you guys. So they're working hard for us in the background, and just you know, we're just going with it. It's we have awesome. a great, you know, we have a great management company. You know, we have a great team of managers. Uh, Larry Mazur, uh, who has represented numerous artists over the years, such as Kiss, you know, uh, Breaking Benjamin, among others. Uh, and, and Scott Marceron is our pretty much uh, organizer. He's a, a great manager as well. We have two guys on the team. We've well, got a, just an amazing team. We've kept it secret because we wanted to come out with a band. You know, I think it's going to be great. You know, I'm pretty excited for everyone to hear it around here since I have a lot of history yeah. here in this area. So, well, I, I have to ask, where did the name come from? Failure Anthem. Where 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 the name Failure Anthem come from? <laughs> we probably got to talk to Kyle about that one. I uh, can actually probably touch base on that for you a little bit. Um, basically. It's, it's like, if you look at the, the name, you put the words together, it's almost like, you know, you see these people as underdogs, like a group of 
individuals or whoever they may be, a group of people. Uh, you never would expect that kind of style of people, the underdogs, to ever be successful in life. You know, so failure anthem, you know, to me it's like songs for people and to keep faith and have belief and, you know, to push through life. Things about real life, you yeah. know, situations. And it's kind of based upon that, you know, as well as the people. You know, I think it kind of comes from a lot of different areas of life, but that's kind of where I think he was coming from. So we'd spoken about it before. And I think it's a great name. Yeah. Kind of pushes it out there. Definitely works. Definitely works. All right. So we're here in your kind of hometown uh, with He Is Legend tonight. And uh, is there anything else you guys want to share with our readers? Uh, upcoming shows, news. Uh, like I said, uh, come out to the, we have some great dates with Puddle of Mud coming up. Uh, we have, you know, a festival date set up with them as well in Virginia, Woodstock, Virginia. If you live in Virginia, come hang out with us in 10 years and Saving Able is going to be there as well as Tantric. You know, that's kind of cool to play with yeah. those guys. They've been around for a long time. Um, just basically just keep your eyes open, your ears open, you know. There's going to be a lot of great things happening. You know? Cool. Well, I'm Josh, and I'm here with the guys from the Failure Anthem, and this is southeastpitreport.com. All right.